everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you had a lovely mother's day yesterday so if you're new to my channel or you've recently subscribed you might not know that my erin condren when it arrived was left outside and it got completely soaked so it's all water damaged the first half of the planner wasn't too bad but now we're getting into the second half it's a little wrinkly at the bottom but it's okay she still works this week I thought I would just grab a load of leftover stickers so I've got this kit here which was from Paper Shire and there was so many stickers and I thought this was a really good leftover kit to use. I also grabbed the Simply Gilded one however I didn't actually use it. I think it's just because it's got foil on it and if it's shiny or foiled you know I'm going to grab it. There was a bunch of stickers from my shop and I'm also using last week's new release which was these date covers. There was also an option to have the to-do headers and lastly an option for just blank ones so I'm going to use all three the blank ones are so you can write in your own header and then I grabbed this washi too because there's a lot of purple in the kit and I'm on a purple page in this planner so I thought I would just grab a kind of neutral colour so to start I'm going to put the headers all the way along the top it kind of worked out really perfectly that it was a purple page in my planner because there's a lot of purple in my new pop it headers and there's also kind of pinks and purples in the stickers that I'm using from Paper Shy's kit so it just worked out really well. So I'm going to put the washi along the bottom starting with the glitter washi at the top and because like I said my planner is a bit water damaged it's a bit hard sometimes to stick the washi down because it doesn't want to stick on wrinkly paper or stick straight but you know I've done my best. Um, I really like this foiled washi at the bottom I got these from, I think it was Home Bargains, it was somewhere where I wasn't actually looking for any and I kind of saw them, I think they came in a stack of five or six for like 79p, I could be wrong, could be making that up, but it was definitely from Home Bargains. So going in day by day, I'm going to be using my Muji pen in 0.35, I've just used a page flag up at the top to write Hello Monday. I'm using the stickers that I created for myself of my children. First one is for my youngest to get the bus, so I have to go and drop him off at the bus stop at seven. And then my son is going to be working online school this week. So for his particular college, he goes in for one week and then the next week he does college from home. I guess it's so the other half can go in, so everyone's having time in college. And then lastly, I've put a little icon from the kit down with a little alarm clock and then a picture of my daughter as I need to go and drop her off at work so she has to be work at 8 30 and then after that I'm going to be using one of my blank new headers so you can use these to write your own header options in or you can use them as like decorative stickers or dividers literally anything but I just wrote voiceover in there so I can obviously do this voiceover oops just dropped my pen um Yes, you can buy the options separately or you can buy all three together. Then I'm going to use a pop-it from the feeling sheet just to write down that I'm going to um, put an Instagram post up. And then I'm going to use some of these labels or appointment labels from Paper Shy's kit. I'm going to use two and then just use my tiny poppets. There goes my phone. Tiny poppets just to cover up the icons because I'm using them for something else other than what the icons are. These tiny poppets fit really well in these appointment labels perfect size. Uh, the first one is to organise shoes because the um, utility has just got overrun with shoes. So I've put the poppet with the angry face on there and then the other one was to go and pick up my daughter and then lastly I use one of my YouTube playlist stickers to mark for me to upload this plan with me. I haven't used this pen in my planner for a while. I've been using the Energel and it's a lot thicker and a lot darker than this one and I can't make up my mind if I prefer thicker darker writing or this kind of thinner one we'll see uh, for Tuesday I started with a work from home poppet who's kind of crazy on the computer because that will be me as I've got emails and messages to catch up on I also want to transfer some computer files over so I've used a PC poppet for that and then I'm creating my to do section so I used a poppet to do header the foiled printer sticker is from legally planning and then I just use a poppet highlighter to mark for me to write my envelopes and then on Tuesday is when my son will be having his COVID test at school. So I've just put down a COVID test sticker for that. I don't know why I wrote Harry because it's only him having tests this week. So I could have just written the time. 
oh well and then after that i'm going to be using a pop it from the post and deliver sheet as i will be posting the first batch of orders and now i'm just going to put down one of my playlist stickers these are a uh, blank it's just i asked for some recommendations from everyone and i was able to fill up a whole sheet of different podcast people suggested so um yeah i just chose a random one and put it down for me to listen to on wednesday the but first coffee sticker is from paper sheet plans and then i wrote down that my new flyers arrive that i send out with my orders and then I remembered actually they're being delivered on Thursday, not on Wednesday. I was ahead of myself. So I just, you can't really see, but I just done a little arrow pointing over to Thursday. And then here I just wanted to create a little checklist. So I used one of the mini checklists and I used a work header on like a long, thin page flag, long, small page flag. Mm. Um, and that was for me to basically print pack and write so I just want to print all of the invoices pack everyone's orders and then write down receipts I'm actually going to be designing new receipts as well because I've got some new flyers coming I think it's time to just revamp my receipts too I've used one of the DIY poppets as I need to fix my drawer it's not like a major thing it just needs an extra screw in the back where I've stuffed so much planner stuff in there it's exploding and then for my to-do section at the bottom I've got some housework to do so the housework poppet and the laundry poppet are both from the home life sheet and then I will post the second batch of orders and the little poppet posting is from the post and deliver for Thursday I used a large laptop from paper shy's kit and then I just put some of the tiny poppets in there as I want to spend some time designing and then I need to book my food shop so I've just put that down with a pop it from the food sheet and then also on Thursday I need to go and pick up some migraine prescriptions so I've used a tablet sticker that's from the medical sheet or kawaii medical sheet I think that's what it's called but that's in my shop as well it's also um, my green bin collection on Friday so I like to put them out the night before and then I've used one of the blank headers and I just titled it little things so it's just little things that I want to get done on Thursday and from the home life sheet I've used a poppet that looks a little bit like a maid <laughs> to change everyone's bedding and then I've used a poppet from the feeling sheet and then I lastly use a little icon from the kit, which was to fold clothes. It's got like a little coat hanger on. And then the other poppet was just to mark for me to buy some cat supplies. And then moving over to Friday. So Friday, my son will have another COVID test. So I've just put the get tested poppet down. And also I want to make sure that the new release for Saturday is all finished. So again, I've used a poppet from the feeling sheet. That's probably my most used poppet in my whole planner it's the feeling sheet and then under there I've used one of the pretty um, page flags just to mark that I have got a payday and then as it always happens as soon as you have a payday you have a bill due I've actually got a few bill dues but there was one bill due left in this kit so I've just decided to use that I've got the kind of grumpy looking poppet on there um, and then I'm putting down a pop it alarm clock as I need to take my daughter to work again and also my partner will be working from home so I've used another work from home pop it and just labeled that then I'm going to be creating another to do section so I've used a little happy pop it and that's to make sure that I've got all of the outstanding orders done so I haven't if I haven't managed to get them all done on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday I'll make sure that they're all finished on the Friday and then the little poppet from the planning sheet holding stickers is just to mark that I want to buy myself some stickers. It's been a while since I actually bought stickers for myself, so I'm kind of excited for Friday. And then over on Saturday, I just used some of the deco sticker from the paper shy kit with a pop it in the grey onesie as I want to have a nice lay in on Saturday. And then of course my new release is going up, so I use one of the celebrate poppets to mark that. And then I'm going to be creating my to-do section. So again, I've got a to-do header or to-do poppet header. And then I've put a poppet from the post and deliver just to mark for me to post any outstanding orders that I do do on Friday. I've got laundry to do. So I've used one of the washing line poppets. And then I, did I write laundry? I did, I wrote laundry. <laughs> and then under there, I've used another sticker from the paper shy kit for... Uh, just to mark that coffee time it's time for coffee it's always time for coffee 
and then the pop it from the planning sheet is for me to update my bullet journal probably while I have my coffee and that's it really for Saturday I don't actually have many plans for this weekend but moving over to Sunday I decided to use some more of the appointment labels so I've just flipped some kind of the opposite way so that way the poppets aren't all stacked on one side and then I forgot to get my mobile phone poppets out so that's my little personal stash I normally have kind of the off cuts or if something's gone slightly wrong I'll just stick them in my stash <laughs> so that's why I have so many in there um, so for Sunday I want to call my sister so I've used the mobile phone poppet I used another phone poppet as I want to call my mum and dad and then get some housework done so the poppet there is from the home life sheet and then I was deciding which podcast to listen to so I went for wine and crime because it kind of sounds like a, a Sunday vibe I wanted to make sure that I had room for my to-do section so I just went ahead and stuck that down first and then took some icons from the kit so I was just looking at all the pictures to see which picture that I could use so the little TV sticker is for me to watch some Gilmore Girls because you know I've only seen it 75 times so I need to carry on watching it the little crock pot kind of looking picture or slow cooker um, is for me to write down next week's meals and then the camera icon is for me to film next week's plan with me and then my to-do section is my basically back to school so it's getting uniforms and shoes ready bus tickets lunches etc moving over to the side but obviously I don't have any full boxes so I was just trying to decide what to do but I decided to use these extra long page flags as they were kind of really pretty and I just stacked them all up there I think it turned out really nice so I'm glad that I had those left over and then underneath there I've put a notes section and I thought I would switch up this week's sidebar so instead of using my usual tracker that I've been using lately I thought I would just make one I've done this quite a few times in my planner before so I just use one of the checklists and then I always use a pop it to mark whatever the habit is that I'm tracking so for me this week it's all kind of social media there's my phone again um, Instagram Facebook and Etsy and there are six hearts so I will track it Monday to Saturday and then at the bottom here I'm waiting for quite a few kind of deliveries that haven't really got a date so I thought I would just track that in my sidebar and I'll just write everything that I'm waiting for down there I should have used one of my waiting for full boxes I'd forgotten about that um, and then lastly I've just used some of the deco that I had and then finishing it off with a page flag right at the top so that was it for this week's spread using leftover stickers hope you guys have enjoyed the video if you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up if you are new to my channel then make sure you hit the subscribe button you can also hit the bell icon too and that way you'll be notified whenever i upload hope you guys are having an amazing week so far and i'll speak to you all next time bye guys